Trigon 6 from Sequential. What a beautiful machine this is. Not only the sound but also the look. I really like the white wood uh, which is uh, looking so much better in real life compared to image. Uh, it's hard to describe, it looks really good. I think that overall design is really nice. You have plastic knobs here uh, which is uh, found on the OB6 normally and not the Prophet 6. Uh, so I was a little bit surprised because I'm so accustomed to the, the Prophet 6 and the Pro 3. Uh, and the only downside would be that they, they can feel a bit slippy uh, since they are hard to turn these knobs in the beginning but they loosen up a bit uh, later. Speaking about this machine, uh, we start off from an elite size patch. It can be really fun to explore a synth and it takes some time to get accustomed to this, uh, to every synth I would say. Uh, I would like to make a patch that has tri three triangles, let's call it a trigon patch, wouldn't be cheesy at all. Uh, set the volume around one o'clock on each uh, oscillator in the mixer section, else you will drive the filter a little bit too hard. I don't like that sound always. And then you can add some drive in here to push it even harder in the filter. And we can knock the, the oscillator 2 and 3 a bit out of tune. We can add some release time. Lower down the sustain a bit and have some decay. We can also use the pan spread if we want. You hear how butter smooth the filter is? Have it halfway almost. If you crank up the resonance you will notice the typical transistor ladder filter is that the resonance will make the bottom end disappear a bit. I think that this is of course a design choice since it's a polyphonic synthesizer, it will be too much if the bottom end will pop up uh, in polyphonic mode. Uh, compared to the Pro 3 you have a, a, a ladder uh, compensation, resonance compensation for the ladder filter which is good for the monophonic version but I think it's excellent choice for this one. We also can put the filter in tuple mode if you want to have a not too steep in the uh, in the roll off of the cutoff. Also we can add open the filter full up on higher parts. Let's take the third oscillator uh, one octave down. I think we can um, record a sequence by recording and we can fiddle around with the sound a bit. I was getting one note wrong there, but whatever. Okay, let's play around with the sound a bit.
listen here now. I think that this is a part, uh, I mean a personality of the Triangle Sings that is a little bit unique. I'm not sure if I'm right here, but... If you listen to this... It's quite interesting actually. I like this. Even if it's pushed and push it a bit extreme. It's a cool personality, or I should say a flavor of the filter. Let's try to add some distortion on this. Should we play a bit with the polymod also, like we are making some crazy sound? Perhaps you can do some cool things with it if you, if you add uh, a filter after this, like uh, an analog filter, perhaps a Mogafog or something like that. Um, I think we can make some traditional bassy sounds. Lovely. And uh, what about some envelope? Can use the arpeggiator a bit.
this case the resonance was not giving me the nice result as we had before. Okay, that was not so exciting that sound. Let's make a typical uh, sawtooth. Should we try to make a typical pad sound, perhaps? to use the chorus here also. I think we should add a send around 30 and the params around 50. That should be a good starter. Try to compensate the loss of the lower end with feedback. Works pretty well. science fiction vibe isn't it and we haven't even used our LFO we can use the mod wheel to control it Change the pitch wheel range also to one octave if you want. Should we try to use the vintage knob a bit? Let's put it halfway. Excellent opportunity to use the toe pool filter, which is typically good for pad sounds. Mm, so much airy now. Uh, remember that.
that this synthesizer has switchable oscillators so it's not that you're turning a knob to get the wave shape so you can actually simultaneously activate more wave shapes so let's add the triangle also at the bottom without with I can feel that it opens up it gives a little bit more bottom if you put it one octave down as I've done some squares on the others which reminds me of I haven't used the poly mod yet uh, perhaps we should try to modulate something with it Uh, I'm modulating the frequency one, uh, I mean the frequency on oscillator one by the uh, with the oscillator three right now. Spreading the pan spread a bit. And we haven't um, I don't know, did I forget to activate the chorus? Perhaps I did, let's activate it now. How cool isn't this? Gives me vibes of something like futuristic. Let's remove the attack. Whoa. What happens here is that oscillator 3 modulates the filter, the cutoff frequency right now. Okay, I think that covers everything for tonight and uh, please write me some comments on things that you would like to see. It's a really fun machine, I can highly recommend you to test one, I really love it. It has its own place in the collection. It's uh, amazing.